This didn't really fit into the footnote that I posted yesterday, but it was part of the original 15-page script that I had to scrap because it just it got too far away from me and made no sense. But I wanted to share my interpretation of what's happening in Antarctica right now, beyond the physical, materialistic explanation of what may be going on down there. Of course, this does require some context of that explanation. And for those unaware, Antarctica has been making news in the alternative media recently because a lot of public figures from various countries have been visiting the continent for reasons not yet known. I've seen theories that run the gamut of the fringe. The discovery of a giant hole that contains some serious, heavy, ancient machinery. Or the rediscovery of the lost continent of Atlantis. Or Antarctica itself being Atlantis. Or the discovery of another race of beings, be it terrestrial or extraterrestrial. And the discovery of an entrance into the inner Earth. Whichever these theories is true... We know that we're not just now discovering it. We've heard these stories for years. But the increase in visits and attention on Antarctica is curious nonetheless. If I had to guess, I'd say a combination of the first theory that I mentioned and the last theory. A giant hole with some serious heavy ancient machinery and an entrance beyond that into the inner earth. I theorize this because it represents the journey inward that I talked about in that footnote. Discovering an entrance to the interior of the planet on which we exist, or to the interior of the plane in which we exist, really does align nicely with the spiritual development a lot of people seem to be going through at the moment. It makes sense that if many individual parts of the collective are spiritually blossoming, that the reflection that is our collective physical reality would match up with the journey of the self, which is always inward, not outward. It's similar to how the fringe community was obsessed with space travel many decades ago. That seems to have waned a bit. Now it seems we're keener on exploring what's already part of us, places like Antarctica, places like our oceans, places that are already here. We've spent so much time being concerned with exploring other planets and star systems that much of Earth remains unexplored. It really is an exciting time, though, if you don't let all the constant fear and paranoia and propaganda get to you. And it does seem like that which is above is reflective of that which is below. It does seem like that which is without is reflective of that which is within. And maybe we're just now rediscovering that infinite universe within us. The question is, what will we do when we learn of that entrance to this interior? What will you do when you 